Hi, my name is Scout O'Keefe, and my Stackathon project was um, Degender Your Internet. It's an extension for Google Chrome, which seeks to remove gendered language from your internet experience. So the idea behind this was, um, it's kind of like there's multiple use cases, either you know, you're know you of a minority um, or oppressed gender identity, and you're tired of reading people, reading things with bias against your gender identity, specifically for women, or I have a lot of friends who are non-binary and use they, them pronouns, and it, they never see that in articles on the internet. It's always he, she, so this will take pronouns and make them gender neutral. And this, right now, it's biased towards the they, them pronouns rather than um, some other options like Z. Um, but hopefully in future iterations, um, I'll also be able to implement that. And the unofficial tagline is, warning, not suitable for people who are offended by the singular they, because there's going to be a lot of that happening. So um, if I can find it, OK. Um, so this is just my sample page, um, which um, it has a lot of somewhat garbage text. Um, it has like later stanzas of Jack and Jill, which apparently exist, but I figured they'd have pronouns in them. Um, so to use the app, once it's installed, you click here and you click degender this page. And it pops up, it puts a bar at the top, um, and it changed the um, pronouns, some adjectives, and some nouns. Um, and right now, you can um, highlight the altered pronouns um, and unhighlight them, highlight the al altered adjectives, and highlight the altered nouns. So. Um, the analyze page currently does nothing, um, which is a bit unfortunate, but um, the, um, the app does um, save things when it changes them. So in adjectives, just have three. Um, my adjective list is only like 25 long right now, so adjectives in terms of in the real world, like not on my page, they don't show up very often. But you have nouns, which I just had girl in there, and pronouns. So it keeps track of where they occurred and how many. One issue right now is it counts capitalized ones separately than lowercase ones, but that's due to my implementation. Um, so the idea with the Analyze page would be to send this to the back end, back end kind of, of my Chrome extension, which is actually a bit more complicated because Chrome extensions, you don't really have a server, and the way they use it to keep things safe is you kind of have like your content silo and your rest, rest of stuff silo, so you have to send it in a message. There, was, there is a way to maybe use Redux and hold your store in the page that's sh shared, but I didn't understand what was going on when I was reading that, because I started that on Thursday. Um, so if we look at the code a bit, not that code. So most of the action happens in my content script. And right now I have objects. Um, so I figured that, so every word I want to replace is in the object, so it's a lookup of N1 because we're already having to go over every word in the, um, an O of N1, N equals 1, uh, not N equals 1, O of 1, that's what I meant, because <laughs> it just has to look it up in the object. I mean, obviously, I'm not covering everything right here, and I think the greatest ex um, potential for expansion is um, in the nouns and adjectives, um, and ideally, eventually, this would be in a database, um, probably with Firebase, that it could check against. And um, yeah, there are still a lot of issues. It took me a while to figure out how to get the words when there was punctuation after. And right now, like right here, that doesn't get changed because there's a break tag right after it. And so when it splits it up into words. Um, so I also didn't use any of the natural language libraries, which was probably a mistake, and in future work I will change that because um, I think there's a lot that can be, that I could do better. Um, so, so for the future, you know, like filling it out more, um, letting the user have their own settings where they can choose what pronoun to change um, male or female pronouns to, um, analyzing the page where it'll hopefully get into bias, like, um, there were this many negative words associated with women. Um, mostly I only have adjectives associated with women right now because 
there just aren't that many that are usually associated with men. Um, I mean, there's cocky. I have like a cocky is basically the only one I have. Um, but also dealing with stuff like gendered um, job titles, like, you know, service woman could be, you know, service member, stuff like that. So that would be more complicated. Um, the biggest challenges was just basically figuring out how extensions work, um, just because oh, some of the stuff was kind of out of date. Um, the tutorials, like it was like, oh, go here for the repo, and then it was like it had a redirect to another repo, which was all about OAuth. Um, um, and also in the future, whoops, um, we're going to have settings where they can do their settings and feedback, um, so they can suggest if they think I've missed a word or something. And then just to show one more feature, um, if I change. The language page, I think FR is French, but um, we'll find out. Um, then it should, fingers crossed, um, when I go to degender it, a pop-up comes up that says the page isn't in English, um, but then also an invitation that if somebody is really interested in this app and they want to help me make it in whatever language the page is in to contact me. Um, so I think. That's about it. Um, also, right now, none of the pages are really talking to each other. Um, the front end for um, the extension, for some reason, even though places were like, oh, React is perfect for extensions. Again, React, uh, maybe not so much. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't make any of my on clicks work through React. So right now, that's all through the content script, which is really less than ideal. Um, but if I get it all working through React and then have a store, then I, and this is definitely something I want to keep working on. Like, um, I al almost feel like I need help from somebody with a um, PhD in gender studies, because um, it's a lot of complicated language to work out. But I'm really excited to keep working on it. And that is degendering your internet. <laughs>